everyone. Have you been having a good day? Oh, good. And who are all these? Oh my gosh, look at all of you. You're Piper, hi Piper. Piper, do you have brothers? You're, she's Corinne. So do you have, Piper, do you have brothers and sisters here? I have three girls. Piper has three girls. There are six girls in my family. You have five? Oh, Violet. Hi, Violet. There's all, there are all these folks here. Okay, what is, what's your name? Baron? Byron? And who are the two ones next to you? And Hannah, is that your brother? What's his name? JR? Whoa. We've got Piper. Who's Piper? Piper, who's next to you? Corinne. Oh, that's Corinne. Okay, and Charlotte? Avery is Charlotte's big sister. Then uh, we have uh, Violet in the back. And who's this Violet on your right? So who's that? Okay, you're the big brother, so you have to speak up. Aaron? Cameron. Cameron, I'm so sorry. It's a noise over there. Okay, so Cameron, is that your little brother? Big brothers have to protect little brothers. So I have five sisters, and I'm like the biggest one. So I take care of my sisters. So how many of you here are like big brothers or big sisters? Oh, you, oh Piper has a baby sister, too. Oh, my goodness. So, so you all have a big responsibility. You have to help your parents take care of your you know, brothers or sisters. It's a big responsibility. And who do we have back there? Did you hear that? Okay, shout. Oliver, okay, Oliver and Penelope, whoa. See, your, your parents usually tell you not to shout, but because there's so many, like, you know, different noises and music and everything, so you have to kind of, like, speak louder. I thought it was just me, but she didn't hear either. <laughs> so big brothers are very important. Big sisters are really important because we have a responsibility to take care of our little sisters and little brothers sometimes as exasperating as that responsibility can be. Who knows what exasperating means? Uh, I've forgotten your name. Cameron. Oh, no, 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 Cameron, right? Oh, Cameron, okay, Landon. Okay, so. So Violet has a little brother also. Okay, Landon, what were you going to say? What does exasperating mean? <laughs> yes. So how so sometimes you may feel that your little brother or your little sister is a little bit of a pain, but nevertheless, it's still your responsibility as a big brother and the big sister to take care of them. And you're very blessed to have that responsibility. Okay, how about some in the back over there? Who do we have in the back? Anybody want to volunteer? Well, we've got all these. Okay, we'll start. Oh, there are new volunteers. Okay, I've forgotten your name. Avery, right. Avery, go ahead. So, no, so Avery, you're going to, that's your sister over there? And what's her name? Oh, yeah, right, right. Okay. How old are you, Avery? Eight and a half. Whoa, eight and a half. Violet's five. We can't ever forget about Violet. Charlotte, six? Whoa. Okay, let's move over to this blanket. Oh, oh. okay, um, we've got that wonderful young woman with the rabbit ears. 
And what is your name? Haggy? Hadley. Whoa. And Hadley, how old are you? Four and three quarters. Don't forget the three quarters. Very important. Okay, we've got two young gentlemen here. What are, what are your names? Because you raised your hand before. Okay, go ahead. Chicks. Chase. And then who are these two? Are they your brothers? Okay, what's your name? James. Good for you. He knows his whole name. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna announce it because we're just gonna say James. And who you and James is four. Okay, James, who are you sitting next to? Him. Oh, oh, you're not related. Andrew. Okay. Then we'll go in the back, okay? Who's that young woman back there? Oh my God. Ellie? Are you, and do you have your family here? <laughs> She's having a great time. That's the most important thing, okay. And this one here, oh. can you help me help? Oh, Maddie, and is that your brother next to you? And how old is he? He's three? What's his name? Walter. That's a very serious name for a three-year-old. And he looks very serious. Do we have? Now he's smiling. Thanks for coming, Walter. And we've got Violet and all these others, and Avery, and OK. Who are people over there? Blake? Oh, Soleil, OK. And who are you with? Are they your sisters, your cousins? I, okay, do you know what their names are? Did you hear? Okay, I don't feel so bad. It's nice to come with people that you know, isn't it? Well, good, I hope you have a great time. Okay, you've got all these people and you're gonna be hearing from them. Now, my name is Elaine and I'm from the Department of Transportation. Oh, I know. Hi, Piper. <laughs> oh, you, her mom's name is Elaine. Is she here too? Okay, say hello to mom. Hi, mom. So at the Department of Transportation, we have a lot of things to do with like cars, trains, ships, transit buses, airplanes, and then also space. Helicopters too, very smart, and also space. So I'm gonna read a book called Roaring Rockets. And it's a story about rockets and how we get up into space and then we come down. Cause that's, the return part is really important. So first you've got like all these animals, and they say rockets have power. They rise and roar. And this rocket's waiting, ready to soar. You see the rocket over there? And they're all getting ready. The next page is rockets carry astronauts with cool white suits. See, astronaut with a cool white suit and oxygen helmets oxygen helmets and moon boots, moon boots. Does anybody know, some of you, you guys, big guys know, how, 
Do you know what an astronaut is? Oh, okay. Um, okay, we'll ask a girl. So, okay, Avril says it. Go ahead. Avery. Yes. She gave the astronauts are people who go into space and they do research and they help you know, us to learn lots of different things. And Hadley, what is, did you have something to say? Yeah, Hadley says an astronaut is someone who goes up into space and they put our flag on top on the moon, right? That's great. And okay, and uh, I've forgotten his name. Chase. James. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry. <laughs> so James is also right. And so you can talk amongst yourself also about what astronauts do. Okay, so they all go in there with the moon shoes, with the space suit, with the helmet, and then whoosh, the rocket takes off and the countdown is finishing. Three, two, one, action, blast off, and the journey has begun. You see? So the rocket takes off. I know, James, it's so exciting. I am too. And then look, rockets have fuel in great tanks like this. And when they are empty, when they use up all the fuel, then the fuel tanks drop away. And then it makes the rocket lighter and that's what's happening here the tank fuel tank is dropping away and up in space look at all these astronauts in space they can float can you see that they're really really light and so astronauts need to buckle up tight if they want to stay in one place and then rockets go very, very far. They go through space. They zoom through space. And they reach as far as the big round moon. I don't think any one of us has been to the moon yet. But, but you will because you're young enough. One of, when you grow up, we will probably have people on the moon. And OK, we've got one question over there. And who's that? What is your name? Is it Anne? Can you hear her? Oh, Sydney. Okay, Sydney, you have your hands raised. Did you want to ask something? Well, you're going to have a chance to go into the moon and go into space. Okay, James has another question. And James, who's next to you again? No. Oh, yeah, okay. So James has said something. Andrew, did you want to say something? Okay, what do you want to say? You want to go that far? <laughs> okay, we're going to be able to go to the moon. So the rocket took off, and then it lands on the moon. Down comes a lander with legs stretched out like this. And there are fiery boosters to hold it in place. So here's a rocket. It's got legs now. It lands on the moon. It's got fiery over here boosters that keep it steady. And the astronauts come out. So out comes the astronauts to plant their flag. Had 
Hadley was right. Hadley says we were gonna, they were gonna plant their flag, right? Here it is, they're planting their flag. And scoop up samples in their moon rock bag. And I think it was Avery who said that they do research. So here, they're doing their research. Did you guys know this book before? <laughs> Hadley says, yeah. Okay, and who's this? Oh, Piper, right, right. So did you have something to say, Piper? Okay. Yeah. And now the rockets explore and through space they roam. And, but when they're done, they head on back home. And that's important because we want them to come back home, right? So they did their research, as Avery said, they planted their flag, as Hadley said, and now they're ready to go home. And here it is. Rockets re-enter in a fiery flash to land in the sea with a sizzling splash. So what's happening here? They land in the water, and then they're ready to come home. And the helicopter, who mentioned the helicopter? Was it Chase or somebody here mentioned helicopters? The helicopter carries a brave crew home. Three cheers for the astronauts. Hip, hip, hooray. Let's all cheer for the astronauts. Yay, we love astronauts. Okay, we have some newcomers. Who's uh, newcomers with sunglasses too? Okay, so who are the two newcomers with the sunglasses? What's your name? Michael? Yes, you. Yep. Oh, Nate. Thank you. Okay, and who's the other? Is that your sister in the back? No, yeah, Nate, is that your sister? Oh. Oh, you're the only child. Are you spoiled? I hope not. My husband is an only child, too. Do you know Senator Mitch McConnell? He's my husband. He's an only child, but he's not spoiled. He's a good husband. So he cooks for me, too. OK, so who's the young woman behind you? I'm, Claire, I think I've called on you before. Did I do that? No? OK. Claire, and then who's that behind you? Emma. Emma Claire. OK. Lila's here. So you are all now friends, because you've all been together to share a very special day, and that's to spend a whole day here at the White House for the Easter egg roll. So you're going to be friends, and you're going to remember this day and remember all the new friends that you've met. And so we're very lucky to be able to be here, to have the president and the first lady here, and to have uh, Tiffany here as well. So be nice to your parents. Listen to them. They love you very, very much. And they only want the best for you. So have a great time. And when you grow up a little bit more, if you want to come to the Department of Transportation, and assuming we're still there, <laughs> We'd love to have you come visit. And yes, who is that over there? And tell us your name. Oh, hi, Sarah. I'm so glad you're here. I hope you're having a good time as well. Well, I think we're going to move on to the next entertainment. Yes. What? Actar? And are you here by yourself or do you have brothers and sisters? Oh. How old is she? Six. Six. Oh, I'm so glad you're here. Well, it's great to see everyone. Be nice to your parents. Have a great day. Bye.